Hey there, salt of the earth, God's masterpiece. Welcome to the Messiah's miracles in the book of John, chapter 9. Uh, Jesus heals a man that was born blind. Let's hear Apostle John's statement. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work as long as I am said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Shalom, which is translated sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Therefore, the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, Is is not this he who sat at and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. And he said, I am he. Therefore they said to him, How were your eyes opened? He answered and said, A man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and I received sight. Then they said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought him who formerly was blind to the Pharisees. Now it was a Sabbath when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also asked him again how he had received his sight. He said to them, he put clay on my eyes and I washed and I see. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, How can a man who is a sinner do such signs? And there was division among them. They said to the blind man again, What do you say about him? Because he opened your eyes, he said, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe concerning him, that he had been blind and received his sight. Till they called the parents of him who had received his sight. And they asked them, saying, Is this your son, who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. By what means he now sees, we do not know. Or who opened his eyes, we do not know. He is of age, ask him, he will speak for himself. His parents said these things because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if anyone confessed that he was Christ, he would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, he is of age, ask him. So they again called the man who was blind and said to him, Give God the glory. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he is a sinner or not, I do not know. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see. And they said to him again, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, You are his disciple? But we are Moses' disciple. We know that God spoke to Moses as for this fellow. We do not know where he is from. The man answered and said to them, 
Why, this is a marvelous thing that you do not know where he is from, yet he has opened my eyes. Now we know that God does not hear sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, he hears him. Since the world began, it has been unheard of that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. If this man were not from God, he could not do nothing. They answered and said to him, You were completely born in sins. Are you teaching us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and it is he who is talking with you. Then he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him, and Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, that those who do not see may see, and those who see may be made blind. Then some of the Pharisees who were with him heard these words and said to him, Are we blind also? And Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say, we see, therefore your sin remains. Father God, most high, thank you for the testimony of the Apostle John. Let us be reminded that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let us feel your presence in our lives, Father, just as the apostles felt your presence through your Son. Thank you that your Son's blood washes us as white as snow. May we dwell in the shelter of the Most High forever and ever in Yahushua HaMashiach's beautiful name. Amen. Oh.